All right, so now let me play the second part of the song. So now um, I'm not going to teach you how to play the right hand and the left hand separately because we've already known that. The only difference is now we're playing at one octaves higher. So we were playing here. This is our middle C. We we're playing here. Now we're playing here. Okay, this is our middle C. So now we're playing here. And the left hand remains exactly the same. So when you press G here, you're pressing G, C, G, and C on the left hand. Okay, then you go, when you go to D here, you go same thing with G and D on the left hand. Okay, then I go F here, I go B minor on the left hand. to C, I go to F and C. Now this is the small difference here because remember I told you at the beginning we play this part. Now we're playing it here, we played it four times, but when we're going an octave higher, we play it five times. You go. Okay, so you played that for five times now. First you play it four times, you play it, then we play it five times. So it's exactly the same except we're playing at one octave higher and we're repeating this part for five times. Alright, so now I'm going to play the third part of the song which sounds like this. I'm going to show you how to do the right hand uh, for the third part. Um, it's the same basically, but all we're doing now is that we're playing octaves. So before we used to go like this, and now we're doing octaves. So, so we're going G octaves first. So this is G and another G. It's G octave. If that's too hard for you, then that's fine. You can play it at an octave higher. Okay? But I'd rather just do um, G octaves here. Okay, so G octaves first, then C octaves, so C, C. Then E, B, e minor octaves. Then I go to F octaves. Then G octaves, and then I go back to C. Okay, so it goes like this. I'll play it very slow. Then I go to E minor and F and I play it normally. So that's D, G, B minor, C, D, G and I play that for five times. For four times. And I play that for four times. Then I go to F, B minor. So instead of going like this, Instead of doing that, I'm doing this. So what I'm doing here is I'm pressing D, B minor, D, B minor. Then I go to C, G. Alright, so now let me teach you how to play the right hand and the left hand uh, for the third part. Now I didn't explain the left hand separately because it's exactly the same. We're doing the same exact thing. We only made changes with the right hand. So first when I press G octaves on the right hand, I press C, G, C on the left hand for 12 times, so as usual. So we're doing the same exact thing, okay? Then I go... Alright, when I go to D, I go to G and D.
okay? So this is how you end the left hand. Because the next part, it goes like this. So when you finish, you end it here. So one more time, when I press G octaves on the right hand, I press C on the left hand. Okay, so when I press D, I press G and C. Uh, I press G and D. When I press F on the right hand, I press B minor on the left hand. To C, I press F and C on the left hand. Okay, so that's basically how I play them together. Alright, so now I'm gonna play the pre ending and the ending for you, which sounds like this. teach you how to play the right hand uh, for the pre-ending and the ending for the song so basically it goes like this so basically what I'm doing here it goes A minor B minor C so then I go to B minor C B minor so slowly it goes like this And then I'm going to So that's basically G A minor C So Okay Then I go to That's basically G A minor G So overall it goes like this Then I move to E minor, A, A minor, so, so E minor twice, then A minor, then I go D, E minor twice, then A minor, then I go to E minor, F, so it goes. octaves now so you go A minor octaves and then C octaves so if you don't feel like uh, if you're not comfortable uh, pressing octaves you can just press A minor alone then C all alone but I like to press it as octaves so A minor octaves then C octaves then I go to G octaves So overall it goes C, B minor, C, B minor, then A minor octaves, then C octaves, and then G octaves, 
and then after that I go to A minor octaves again then E minor octaves and then D octaves and then I play so G, A minor, B minor, C and I repeat that for six times so Okay, so overall, okay, after I go to C, I play it very slowly, then it goes then So you repeat that for six times, so you go So C, G, A minor, B minor, C, G, and then so on Then you end it up with C Alright, so now I'll teach you how to play the left hand for the pre and the ending part of the song So um, basically, again, like before, um, if you don't feel comfortable pressing up this, you can always just press one chord Okay, so this A minor chord uh, a minor octaves and we press that for eight times this time so a minor octaves we press it for eight times Repeatedly. so i'm not sure if i'm doing it eight times but uh you can just coordinate it with your right hand and i'll show you how to do that later so it goes like this okay then after a minor octaves you go to e minor octaves and you press that for eight times as well octaves you go to F octaves and you press that for eight times as well and then after the F octaves you go to C octaves you press that for eight eight times as well so first is A, a minor octaves then E minor octaves then after that you go to F octaves then after that you go to C octaves and you press them repeatedly for eight times okay the second time you repeat it you go A minor octaves then you go to E minor octaves A minor octaves for um, eight times as well so and then after that E minor octaves for eight times as well and then after that you don't you just go to F and C and you repeat that for uh, eight times. So this part, the F and C coordinates with this one. I'll show you how to do it later, but basically F, F, F and C as of the beginning, so it goes like this. Okay, and then after that you repeat it again. So basically these are our chords for the left hand. I'll show you how to coordinate it later with the right hand, uh, but you just gotta know that we're pressing A minor for eight times, E minor octaves for eight times, F octaves for eight times, C octaves for eight times, then again we're pressing A minor octaves, then E minor octaves, then F and C, and all for eight times. And then you repeat the whole thing again. Alright, so now let me teach you how to play the right hand and the left hand uh, for the pre-ending and the ending part so it goes like this okay so what I'm doing here is I'm going A minor B minor and then when I press C on the right hand I press A minor octaves on the left hand for eight times then I go when I press B minor again here I press E minor octaves on the left hand on the left hand then when I press um, G on the right hand I press C octaves on the left hand for 8 times so I'm pressing everything for 8 times so 
on the um, left hand. So first, let me play it slowly for you again. C is our cue to A minor octaves on the left hand. So when I press B minor again, is our uh, cue to E minor on the left hand, E minor octaves on the left hand. And then when I press G on the right hand, I press C on the left hand. Then when I go to E minor, the second time I press E minor, I press A minor octaves on the left hand. So it goes... Then again, when I repeat E minor on the right hand, I press E minor on the left hand. on the left hand. So basically when I press one more time, E minor, second time, so it goes repeating it again I basically repeat everything again so when I press C on the right hand I press A minor octaves on the left hand keep in mind you're pressing everything on the left hand for eight times so when you go to C you press A minor octaves on the left hand for eight times so, so when I press B minor again same thing I press E minor on the left hand press A minor here, octaves, and when I press C octaves on the right hand, I press F octaves on the left hand. Then when I press G octaves on the right hand, I press C octaves on the left hand. Okay, so one more time, when I press C on the right hand, I press uh, A minor octaves on the left hand. On the right hand, I press E minor octaves on the left hand. So when I press C octaves on the right hand, I then I press C octaves on the right hand, I press off F octaves on the left hand. Then when I press G octaves on the right hand, I press C octaves on the left hand. After that, when I go back to A octaves on the A minor octaves on the right hand, I press A minor octaves on the left hand. Then when I go to E minor octaves on the right hand, I press E minor octaves on the left hand. Then D. And then when I press C on the right hand, I press F and C on the left hand, so it goes. Hold on to F and C. I play C the higher pitch, so I go higher pitch. So this is our middle C. So I'm playing this C. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's a C. And then it goes. Now when I press C for the final time, I press C G C on the left hand. So basically C G C here. But I'm pre pre pressing it at an octave lower, so C, C, G, C. So when I press C on the right hand, I press C, G, C on the left hand. That's how I end up in the song. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed and you've learned this song. Um, if there is any part that you don't understand, you can leave a, a, a comment in the comment section below and I'll try to explain it for you if I can. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like this video and subscribe please. Thank you so much for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye!